Hello! How's everyone doing? Welcome back to another Astronaut Mortal Kombat 11 stream. And I'm here to update you guys of at least what I have been able to find within the past 24 hours since my last stream. So guys, I have some information. I have a new article that got published today from eventhubs.com. Event Hubs has been staying on top of it, even though they, have, they don't have very much to go on. What's up, Hunter? Welcome to the stream. There's not a lot to go on, but Event Hubs has been pumping out a new article every day or every other day about Mortal Kombat 11. So, Hunter, I'm really sad, man. What's up, Jax? Welcome to the stream. Black Bane, welcome to the stream. Um, wow, we're already up to seven visitors. All right. What's up, Mark? Welcome to the stream, guys. All right, guys, in this stream, I am going to read to you a new article that Event Hubs has published about Mortal Kombat 11, and it has to do with their presence at E3. N1 Scorpion, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Also, I have an interesting tidbit to share about a post that Ed Boon has put on his account, on his Twitter account. It's a, it's a pinned tweet that he has, and in the pinned tweet, it actually has a reference to Jade and Mortal Kombat 11. So, but some of you may have already seen that. But if not, I'm going to tell you about it. Well, at least Resident Evil 2 kind of saved the night, right? Yes, I did hear about there's going to be a remake of Resident Evil 2. Michael, Michael Anthony, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Yes, um, I, I'm going to go over some things that Sony announced tonight, too. Uh, Sony announced like about at least seven or eight games that's going to be coming up uh, within the next year or so. Brisk, wow, you're back. This is the second stream you've caught. Thanks, man. Thanks for joining us. Um, all right, so I guess I'll, I'll just give everyone just another minute to get in the room, and then I'll read that article about uh mortal kombat 11 sony saved e3 <laughs> yeah actually before i read the mortal kombat 11 what's up zane welcome to the stream mark i wanted mk11 so as many others look at ed boone's tweet about nintendo switch i didn't see that twitch i mean pfft, i didn't see that comment uh i mean the i didn't see that that tweet wb games to show something tomorrow and wednesday okay What's up, Psychopathic? Hey, hey, hey. Okay. So guys, before I get to the Mortal Kombat 11 article, I'm gonna read I'm gonna read to you guys what happened with Sony this year. What's up, Dan? Welcome to the stream. Katana, you're just in time. We just got started. You haven't missed anything. Okay. So I'm getting ready to read off some of the announcements that Sony made today at their press conference, basically. Um, let's see. Word! Let's see. Okay, so it says everything. Woo. Okay, so basically they started things off. They made an announcement for The Last of Us. So if you guys are a fan of The Last of Us, um, uh, they 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 just released a cinematic uh, a cinematic and gameplay from all this footage from The Last of Us for Sony. Okay, so if you're looking forward to some Sony releases, The Last of Us is on the list. Guys, we're up to 19 visitors. Guys, welcome to the stream. We are talking about Mortal Kombat 11, but before I get to that, I am going to go over some things that Sony announced at their press conference today at E3. So guys, don't go anywhere. I also have the news article about Mortal Kombat 11. Astronaut, can you give me a tissue? Um, let's see. Uh, Degas, I... Let's see. Uh... There we go. Okay. I'm sorry. I was trying to find Degas. Degas, here's a pillow. Here's a pillow, Degas. You can just lay your head on the pillow. Or you can just, you know, you can cry. <laughs> the pillow is just as good as a Kleenex. I mean, you can wipe your nose on the pillow. I mean, you know, you can hit the pillow over your head if you just feel like you're just about to explode without Mortal Kombat 11. You can do that. So, Degas, use my pillow. It's okay. Although, I must tell you, I might need the pillow back because I might get a little emotional myself a little later on at night. Justin, are you laughing at me? Justin, don't laugh. What's going wrong? This is it's crazy. Okay, sorry guys. Having some technical difficulties. I'm running a tight shift here on my, 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 my stream. Okay. Yes, I think Justin was just laughing at me. I don't appreciate it, especially when we're up to like 25 views, visitors. 
And, you know, I just can't have people laughing at me, Justin. Guys, don't worry. We have two more days. That was very true. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Let me go back. Did you see Xbox Commons Jump Force? No. I didn't. I haven't been. It's just so much to keep up with. I have to kind of pick and choose what I follow. There's still a chance. Yes, there's always a chance up until the 14th of June. So, okay. So, guys, The Last of Us. You still, you still my friend, though. I don't know, Justin. I don't know. I feel a little emotional. I mean, I'm already emotional because of Mortal Kombat 11. But this has made me even more emotional. Do you think we will get Mortal Kombat 11? Gucci, that's a good question. That's the whole reason why I have this stream going on. So we can talk and vent our frustration. That Ed Boon tweet is from June 9th. Um, actually, oh, okay. All right, so Sony announced The Last of Us. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. There was also some information about God of War. Do we have any God of War fans in the in the stream tonight? Let's see. It says during a break in the presentation, President and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment America, Sean Layden, dropped an interesting news bomb. New game plus is is coming to God of War. That's great news for players who want to see how much easier they can destroy their Norse enemies with all of their unlocks done right up front. All right, so there's some some something in development for God of War. So I'm depressed about no Mortal Kombat 11. I know we all are Gucci. We all are. What's up, Chocolate? You're just in time. Degas is breaking down and crying. Justin is laughing at me because I'm like emotional with my pillow. Everything's going wrong tonight, and it's all Ed Boon's fault because he doesn't want to release the freaking game trailer. They showed a game called Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, I'm getting to that, Zane. I'm getting to that. That's later on. Um, they're also coming out with a new Destiny. Destiny 2 Forsaken is coming out, guys. Um, let's see. It says, Sony dropped the first story trailer for the upcoming Destiny 2 expansion, Forsaken. The new content comes out September 4th. And judging from this clip, it looks pretty bleak. Oh, that didn't sound good. Blanche called me earlier. She's mad. <laughs> She's probably mad because no one can find her false teeth. She misplaced her false teeth when someone threw her at Kung Lao. She her false teeth went flying, and I think Goro has Blanche's false teeth. But I'm excited for Spider-Man PS4. That's cool. All right, um, Ghost of Tsushima. Developer Sucker Punch is branching out from anthro anthropomorphic rap raccoons and electric superheroes with this samurai action game set during the Mongol invasion of Japan. Okay, so Ghost of Tsushima is has been announced. Did everyone tweet about MK or E3? No, not today. Although he has a pinned tweet up right now, Chocolate, that does have a Mortal Kombat 11 and Jade reference. Let's see. Another game called Control was announced by Sony today. It says, we've been wondering when we can expect something new from Alan Wake and Quantum Break de developer Remedy Entertainment. And now we know it's called Control and it looks super weird in all the best ways. So there is a new game called Control out. Resident Evil 2 has been announced. Uh, we may not have heard uh, about Final Fantasy 7 Remake at Square Enix's show, but this will do. Capcom is bringing out a high-definition remake of his classic zombie fighting title, Resident Evil 2. What's up, Nell? You're just in time. Welcome to the stream. Jump Force will vanish. 3D fighting games like that. Don't get a spot. Remember Naruto Storm. DVZ Pudokai. Okay, so guys, seems like I'm... Is there, is there, is there anybody out there excited about the Resident Evil 2 remake? Can you show Boone Sweet again? Arden, welcome to the stream. Uh, I can't show it. Are you talking to me? Um, if you go to his tweet, if you go to his Twitter, he has a pinned post. Okay, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about this because people keep mishing it up. There's still, there's still no Mortal Kombat 11. But on Ed Boone's Twitter right now, he has a pinned post up. And it's a, it's a little cartoon interaction between Patrick from Spongebob and this other cartoon character. And they're going back and forth and back and forth. And they're like, does this, this is what Ed Boon has tweeted. It has nothing to do with Mortal Kombat or Injustice 2. Therefore, why do you keep asking for, for why do you keep asking for characters? And, and then Patrick just says, give me Jade in Mortal Kombat 11 and Fighter Pack 4. So, that's a reference to Mortal Kombat 11 and Jade. So, don't know if it means anything. There you have it, guys. That's what's on Ed Boon's Twitter account right now. That's a pinned post, too, with a reference to Mortal Kombat 11 on it. 
Don't know what it's supposed to mean, though. Okay, so, let's see. There's going to be another... Um, do we, uh, I'm expecting the trailer at the Warner Brothers conference over the next couple of days. Jeremy Brown, welcome to the stream. WB Games will have, will have their secret panel tomorrow. MK11 will get revealed. Hopefully so. Will you record your reaction to a trailer if one is revealed? Mm, I could do that. Actually, if I should see it, I probably won't have time to hit the record button because I'll I'll be like too busy rolling on the ground screaming, yelling thank you God. Somebody asking you put about grid on Twitch and he answers. Shh. Hello, what's good? Hey, what's up, Felipe? Okay, do we have any Kingdom Hearts three? Sonic Fox. Do we have any Kingdom Hearts three fans? Um, y'all think MK11 tomorrow? Very possible. Did you like the new Anthem game coming out? Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't heard about it. Gucci, I'm a fan. Okay. It says Kingdom Hearts 3 was announced at Sony today. The The Disney Square RPG series is uh, returning to a familiar haunt. Sony showed off a trailer that has Sora, Donald, and Goofy going back to the world of Pirates of the Caribbean. We got to look at digital versions of the characters and even a bit of a ship combat. A few days ago, what was it? Burbank. Burbank, boy, ironically in my hood. The new di Dynasty Warrior has sailed the adventures revealed at Sony press conference. Huh, let's see. Uh, another game called Death Stranding was announced. Death Stranding was announced by Sony. We saw more gameplay than ever from the upcoming Death Stranding, but that doesn't mean the project makes any more sense. <laughs> Nio, there's a there's a Spider-Man, Spider-Man for PS4 has been announced. Yeah, Justin is excited about the Spider-Man 4 game. Sub Zero is in Smash. Let's see. Daracine. This PlayStation VR exclusive comes courtesy of developer from Software whom we know best from the Demon's Dark Souls series and Bloodborne. This is about fairies, maybe. We don't have a lot to go on here. Dare scene. So there's a new VR game coming out. I really thought Dying Light 2 looked great. Hola, welcome Centipede. Welcome to the stream. Okay, guys. Jace, what's up? Hola. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and read this uh, Mortal Kombat 11 article from, uh, from uh, Event Hubs. And this is what Event Hubs... I'm not going to read the whole thing, just the part about Mortal Kombat. September is my birthday and also Spider-Man came as a bonus. Ah! S Assassin's Creed Odyssey announced. Oh yeah, I knew about that. Okay, so I'm just going to skip to the part about Mortal Kombat 11. Okay, this is what... I'm not lying, he really is in Smash. Really? That would be a change of pace. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read what Event Hubs has said about Mortal Kombat 11 and E3. They said, and we're up to 39 visitors. Welcome to the stream, guys. I mean Switch, not Twitch. <laughs> I just wrote Twitch. N1 Scorpion, are you twitching? Do you need some medication? If you are twitching, that is not a good sign of life. What's up, Astro? What's up, DeQuaylin? Welcome to the stream. Kel Moore, what's up? How are you doing? Okay, I'm getting ready to read this article about Mortal Kombat 11 from Event Hubs at E3. This is, this is the one everyone has been waiting for. At this point, it's actually surprising that there has been no teasers or soft reveals for NetherRealm Studios' next potential Mortal Kombat title. As we've discussed on the site previously, NetherRealm's pattern for announcing and releasing their Injustice and Mortal Kombat games in recent years dictates that a Mortal Kombat 11 reveal should be taking place at E3, generally when a game's complete with a K or Legendary Edition is released it's only a handful of months later where the next game of the other franchise is unveiled. Injustice 2's Legendary Edition was released back on March 27th of this year, effectively wrapping up DLC support after its nine additional characters entered the fold. Here we are at the starting line of E3 2018 and it's not crazy to think that it's time for Mortal Kombat 11 to be shown. One thing's for sure, NetherRealm Studios seems to be doing things differently this time around as there has been no major teasers or glimpses of the game before E3. In the past, we've gotten a, a hint right before E3, then a full reveal during the event. So if there really is 
at Mortal Kombat 11 slated for E3 reveal. The next most likely place it'll happen is at Sony's conference. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, it didn't happen at Sony's conference. Damn. Okay, I'm going to close my laptop right now because I just... I'm starting to feel emotional all, all over again. What's up, King? What's up, Combat King? <laughs> Combat King, you're just in time to catch me feeling emotional and feeling like abandoned by Netherrealm. Let's pray. Damn it, man, we need MK11. Are they still are they still showcase games tomorrow at E3? Yes, actually tomorrow is going to be uh, Nintendo. Nintendo is the last major developer to have a press conference, so they'll they'll be doing their press conference tomorrow. What's up, by the way? What's up, Beavers? Welcome to the stream. Is tomorrow or Wednesday, or a brutal riot? Oh, um, we'll wait until after E3 and do the brutal riot because we might get surprised. I, I and I'd hate to show up at Netherrealm Studios with a brick in my hand and then they're like rolling out the poster for Mortal Kombat 11. That would be a little rude. What other games did Warner Brothers have? I don't really know or care, Justin Williams. After IG Injustice 2, Nether Room has called it a day. It seems like it, Dan, but you don't have to rub it in. Maybe the trailer might come in in the morning. Pull up to Nether Room Studios. <laughs> I know, we need to do a drive-by. I'm just, I'm so emotional. <laughs> Is tomorrow the last day of E3? No, no, no. Actually, officially, E3 hasn't even gotten started. It doesn't get started until tomorrow officially the expo part and then it goes until the 14th astro chill we gonna ride together okay fine okay i just don't want to wait for next gen consoles i think all of us in this chat wait a minute, what was that last one please please just give us mortal kombat 11 we're fans we just want to actually get mortal kombat 11. yeah i know this is really this is the most depressing thing that's happened to me in months. Maybe at Nintendo conference, back to the roots, and Sub Zero gets characters for something. Hitman 2 for WB Games, uh, but there are three more games to be announced. Ed Boon pick was for Superman. Uh, put Ed Boon face on the pillow and hit it. <laughs> more like punch it, kick it. WB Games showed us, yeah, Hitman 2, yeah. Yeah, Hitman 2 is the other. Yeah, they actually they actually showed that during the, the live stream for Warner Brothers a few days ago. What about a Marvel fighting game? Marvel doesn't seem to be too big on making their own games. They they only seem to they really only seem to like to collaborate with Capcom for the fighting games. Or actually, a long time ago they did used to do the X Men, the the Marvel X Men games. There was Children of the Atom. And stuff and that, but then they cut that series out for some reason. I don't know why they would cut out a, a game all about the X Men. I mean, the X Men are so cool. But anyways, we were up to 50 viewers, guys. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us, um, guys. I've been going over some information about Mortal Kombat 11. I just got finished reading an article about Mortal Kombat 11 at E3, but it looks like a lot of our hope has gone because that article said the last possible hope we had of seeing a trailer for Mortal Kombat 11 would be during Sony's press conference. And Sony press, pre, Sony's press conference was today, and we didn't get a trailer. If they can drop Injustice 2, then you can drop MK11. Would you be War of the Realms? Jeremy Brown. Would you be mad if Enrich came out with Shalom Moses Uh, yeah, a little angry. I would be a little angry. Remember the Mortal Kombat movie? Astro, let's go and destroy you. <laughs> but hey, you know what? Somebody did come up with the great title for Mortal Kombat 11. Remember Mortal Kombat Exile? I'm going to tweet that to Ed Boon. That's what they need to call it. They need to call it Mortal Kombat Exile. That would be great. And maybe like some characters would get exiled from the storyline. That would be fun. I'm sorry, guys, but I got a bad feeling. Caitlin won't be revealed. We haven't even got the tweet about the game. That's true now. Check out Ed Boon tweets. Yeah, Mark, I actually checked them out right before we got there. That's not great. What's up, Chi-Town? If MK11 don't, don't come, we riot. Mortal Kombat E3 sucks. <laughs> we need this game to survive. That's very true. I'll go without air and water to get Mortal Kombat 11. But then I will need air and water to come back so I can continue to live to enjoy the game. Just to clarify that. Mortal Kombat, I mean Mortal Kombat Fujin should be the next game. Fujin, huh? I will literally destroy you. Get over it. If I 
you, I will follow them to the ends of the earth. I will go across the <laughs> Get over it. What's up? We just gotta wait a few days for a reveal. Lazy Sony. <laughs> game night. What's up, game night? Welcome to the stream. Watch him tweet on the last day of E3. Sorry, guys. No MK. Actually, that would be. I could totally see Ed Boone doing that. What an. What a. Beep. That would be. Beep. Ah. Guys, I'm sorry to be beeping in my stream. I tried to keep my streams beep free. But you know what? Ed Boone, this is real. Beep. Ah. Really, they're going to play a corn to go to the banjo. Banjo. Gucci, I didn't get that. Anyways. All right, guys. So, you know, enough. We've had enough of this E3, like, depression. So let's just go back to talking about Mortal Kombat 11. Yesterday I was in your stream. I posted, wait, posted comments, but you didn't notice me. The dude, the dude I'm so sorry. I am noticing you right now, and I'm reading your comment. I'm so sorry. Sorry, so many people, so many things so quickly. I got Takeda Raiden to be on the cover. Ooh, I, I bet Raiden is probably going to be Astro. Who, who you got on the cover MK11? Oh, ah, uh, the worst conference so far. Um, I say Raiden is going to be on the cover. But if they shock us, well, actually, you know, I think Raiden is going to be on the cover because I think. I think that's part of the reason why they had Raiden as a uh, as a uh, DLC in Injustice 2. I think I think that's why. I think they were trying to put make Raiden a, a DLC for Injustice 2 because they were trying to hype him up for Mortal Kombat 11. I, that's what I think. So yeah, so I definitely think that Raiden has a really good chance of being on the cover. Astro, you should go to NRS and slap Ed Boon and ask him about in, in Mortal Kombat 11. You know, I might do that without the slapping because I don't want to go to jail because I don't think I'd be able to play Mortal Kombat 11 in jail. Dark Raiden, he is replacing Shay Khan. <laughs> Black, do you mean Shao? <laughs> uh, Chancla should be in Mortal Kombat 11 DLC. Let's see. Hasn't announced their last four games. So, so apparently Shao Kahn has an evil twin brother named Shay Khan, and apparently Shay Khan is going to come out of nowhere and become the evil villain for Mortal Kombat 11. iPhone and autocorrect equals disaster. <laughs> yes, yes, baby image, that's great. We need Shay Khan for the pre-order bonus character. Shay Khan, Shay Khan, Shay Khan, Shay Khan, Shay Khan. <laughs> Yes, son of Rob. Mike Myers will be DLC. Actually, I don't see how Mike Myers could avoid not being in Mortal Kombat 11. I like... Wait, hold on. The dude said something. I like his story of Mortal Kombat, but how did Cassie be corrupt at Shinnok? That doesn't really make sense. The dude, I agree with you. It doesn't make any sense. Since It's just a shaka. Yes, Dan. Raiden will lead the Shirayu against the other Thus, Force and Lin Kuei amongst them. Against them. Huh. Interesting. MK Bloodlines. Shaykhan usurps. Shaykhan versus Dark Blanche is my son. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, this is funny. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody said Shaykhan versus Shaykhan for president. <laughs> Yes, make it go viral. Don't get emotional, so whatever I'm gonna tell you about is gonna go this way. Raiden will yes. Yes. Jada Molina. Raiden was playing instruments. Tomorrow we, we're gonna get MK11, some type of reveal. Watch. Don't steal my shake on. <laughs> Yes, I want to see a death match between Shay Khan and Revenant Blanche. What's up, Frumblefoot? How are you? If Nightwolf isn't more come out, I'm kicking Boone's head. <laughs> Mastered Ultra Instinct. Hey Khan versus Gore. I hope so, Justin. It will blow us away. Mark my words. The crypt is a place where you unlike fatalities, costumes. It's the same here with that. How would Mortal Kombat 11 if Samsung were Samasu? Oh, Samasu. 
What's this news? Astro Shaykana. Ultra Instinct Goku. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get him. Either. What's up, Chris? Um, oh, what's the news? There really isn't. That's the problem. We don't have any news. I, I did read an article tonight. For those of you who are new to the stream, I did read an article about Mortal Kombat 11 at E3. But the article said that our last hope would have been the Sony press conference, which happened today. And we didn't get a trailer today. So things are looking really, really bleak. And if you are just joining the stream, you have missed my moments of being totally emotional, grabbing pillows, hitting my set, hitting my help set, hitting myself over the head with a pillow. Um, what's up, house? What's up? How's about Assassin's Creed? Oh yeah, well that that game that game's been revealed. It's coming up soon. Your laugh sounds like someone doing combos with the snake style. Snake style? What's the snake style? Astro DLC for. Astro DLC for Mortal Kombat 11. No, no. No, I don't care to be a character in Mortal Kombat 11. No, thank you. No, thank you. Trying to cut down on that. For sure. Me and fatalities don't mix. We don't. Fatalities, brutalities, x-rays, I don't know. No, no, no. No, no. I hope in K11. Son of Ra. If Fujin is in his x-ray, it's gonna be. Would you like the comics to make a comeback? Well, I didn't really follow the comics, so it doesn't really phase me. They could reveal MK11 at Comic-Con. That's true. Astro versus Melina. Actually, no thanks. I'm not going to deal with Melina. No thanks. I, 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 I am not a meal. I don't enjoy people, like, biting me. Uh, Ultra Instinct themes pop and shake Khan and go. Look at Shang Tsung. How was it a dope? Big Shaq confirmed for MK11. Big Shaq? Really? What if Luke and Catherine had a sister? Luke and Catherine? You mean Luke Kang and Katana? Astro versus Scorpion. No, no. I will let Scorpion win. Before, I wouldn't even get into the round. I would disappear. I'm copywriting Shay Khan. <laughs> That's funny, Luke. Well, okay. Astro versus Johnny Cage. Nope, nope, nope. Astronaut versus Devorah. Hell no. Uh, Dr. Phil for MK11. <laughs> That's good. I would like to see Phil, Dr. Phil get his head cut off. Do you want new for more Combat 11? Yeah, they are totally. Astro versus Potato. Yes, I think I could defeat a Potato. Uh, do you think MK Armageddon sucks? Uh, no, I thought it was okay. Uh, God, I hate Boone Cough. Oh. Ed Boon is, I want Luke King to win in the end. Oh, yeah, you and me too. Astro versus Ed Boon. Yes, right about now, I'm totally feeling that match right now. Yes, we need a Mortal Kombat by, X, you know, a Killer Instinct crossover. That would be really cool. How do you think Kano Sun will play out in Mortal Kombat? Well, I definitely feel like he'll be in it. No, not against Blaze. No, no, he's a little too hot. What if uh, did, uh, MK Special Forces 2? Interesting. Astro versus the whole NRS. Uh, Astro versus NRS. Why am I why am I going up against everybody? Astro versus Goro. Goro has one too many arms for me. No thanks. No thanks. What if Devorah confesses he Oh wait. What somebody said something about Devorah confesses. What would you do? Degas, Degas if Devorah said that. I would find some insecticide, I would find some bug spray, and let her have it. I would call the bug man, let her have it. Astro vs. Steve from Minecraft. <laughs> oh, wow. So guys, who, who do you guys think, who needs to be, who would make a, a great pre-order bonus character for Mortal Kombat 11? Astro dating with Blanche to save Earthrealm. Heck no. The mocap is getting good. Almost Astro versus Donald Trump. Astro Bucks would be gone. <laughs> Can you read my last comment? The dude. Let's see. Oh my gosh, dude. Where was your last comment? Hold on. Wow. Well, okay, I will say it again. Do you think MK Armageddon sucks?
Dude, I do not think that MK Armageddon sucks. Wow, guys, we have so many people making comments. Uh, Michael Myers, since he has a movie coming out, yeah. Migos confirmed from MK11. Oh, it was good. Never mind. The dude, when didn't you ask me about Mortal Kombat Armageddon? Was it? I thought it was good. Godzilla? No, no, not Godzilla. Shao Kahn. Who would you want for pre-order? Uh, I want. I want Melina. I want Melina to come back and be a pre-order bonus character. I think Melina would be a really good pre-order bonus character. She would be good. Um, or, uh, no, okay. Well, okay, no. Let's go with, I, I, well, I said it before. I would kind of like to see um, Hornbuckle. Hornbuckle or, uh, let's see, Astro versus Sub-Zero. I think Hornbuckle would make for a really good <laughs> Shiva. Uh, let's see, CM Punk. Let's see that one guy Armageddon was my first Mortal Kombat until my mom took it away and swore to never let me play Armageddon again. <laughs> no vocals. That one guy. Why did your mom take it away? Pre-order Great Kung Lao, Hornbuckle, the Great Liu Kang. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to search. Uh, Search Hornbuckle. Who is he? Centipede, you don't know? Hornbuckle is the mysterious guy who was fighting in the background of the pit too. He basically looks exactly like Liu Kang except his costume is green instead of red. Do you remember the Spanish cop rumored to be in Mortal Kombat 3? No, I don't remember that. Antoine O, really? You're typing random letters from the alphabet? Really, Antoine? I don't appreciate that. The letter of the, letter of the day is not O. Centipede. The letter of the day is not O. Arian's in the stream. Wow, that's interesting. What's up, Arian? Caucasus, Caucasus, Nepal, kisses, kisses, fingerlings. He, he, he. I don't get why people. Oh, gosh. Like Hornbuckle, like he was just like a background character. <laughs> I'm Vegas because he was, he was in the background. Dang it. Combat never dies. Kel, what's good? What's up, Azen? Wow. Uh, Kel, zero. Okay, let me say, okay, Antoine, you're getting really bold with these O's, okay? This is not Sesame Street. Today's letter was brought to you in part, today's episode was brought to you in part by the letter O. I'm gonna say it again. I like the, I like the MKX graphics, but I think it was more cooler when the characters in the arcade mode, Mortal Kombat. Arcade Mortal Kombat's where real people recorded. Oh, the dude. Well, that yeah, that was really cool for the time. They were ahead of their time, but I, I'm sure they'll never go back to that again. We Sesame Street now. <laughs> That's right, Frumble. I'm rep I'm representing Big Bird up in this piece. I like to see Killer Clown in Mortal Kombat. Okay. That's cool. All right, so we went through the the dude is stuck in the '90s. <laughs> Pain from Naruto and Mortal Kombat 11. What's your favorite Mortal Kombat? Whoops, hold on. What's your favorite Mortal Kombat game, Astro? Justin, uh, my favorite is probably Mortal Kombat X. Really, before Mortal Kombat X, it was probably uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy and Mortal Kombat Deception. Pennywise, me goes for pre-order. All right, so. Who do you guys who do you guys think needs to be the main protagonist for Mortal Kombat 11? Who who needs to be the main protagonist? Like who does the whole storyline need to revolve around? I know who it doesn't need to revolve around. It doesn't need to revolve Hillary Clinton for <laughs> somebody said Hillary Clinton as a pre-order bonus. Uh, it does not need to revolve around Cassie Cage. Y'all think it needs to revolve around Raiden? Really? No, maybe someone new. Yes, Frumblefoot. I agree. I agree with Frumblefoot. Um, let's see, Tentacian. Hold on. Be someone other than the kids. Zane, what's up, Zane? Or Nago or Raiden? Um, I think it's. I think the protagonist should. I think Raiden needs to lose his mind and be the main villain. And I think I think Liu Kang should probably be the main villain. I mean, the main uh, protagonist. Um, Havoc, Mataro, Chief, Keith as DLC. Either Naruto or Goku, in your opinion. JC, really, really. 
Well, those characters aren't necessarily characters in the Mortal Kombat universe. Jade, now that would be pretty shocking to see Jade show up to be the more, the main character. I want Reiko and Noob involved. Yeah, I would love to see Reiko come into the situation. Alex, I still remember. Uh, Sindel, no. Sindel has, Sindel has had enough. She can take a seat as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I could see Fujin. I could definitely see Fujin since he was working with Raiden. She will set Raiden straight. Yeah. Sub-Zero and Scorpion should team up. Well, you know what? It seems like they, they actually did team up in Mortal Kombat X, so you think Darius or... Let's see. Hold on. Darius or Cobra should be back for both. Justin, I didn't like Cobra. I thought Cobra was a bootleg version of Ken from Street Fighter 2. So I don't care for Co Cobra. Darius? Eh. You know. I don't know. I feel like playing MK Deception. Reiko. I love Reiko. Goku. I think. Um, Azen, no, he hasn't. But Azen, right now, he does have a pin post on his Twitter account that does have a reference to Mortal Kombat 11 and Jade. Bootleg version of Ken. Yeah, he was. Cobra was a bootleg version of Ken without the red uh, uh, gi on. I have to go now. I'll probably be back. Okay, bye, Gucci. Wasn't Mortal Kombat the name of the original tournament? There is no tournament in MKX. Um, let's see. Actually, no, there wasn't a tournament in MKX. That's right. I mean, it kind of turned it's turned into like a whole nother event. Kai is a beast to me. Antoine Thornton. LOL. Antoine, yes, I I just I I I you don't think I, I you you think I don't see what you're doing, Antoine? You put L O L, you type something that has an O in it. What is up with your addiction to O's? Kai is supposed to be M MKX. Ken is greater than Kai. That's true. Astro, what's your favorite? Hold on. What's your favorite fighting game? Azen, do you really need to ask me that question? Do you see the name of the stream? Jiren for pre order. No. LOL. No, what are you laughing at? Beanie Boo. I'm 11. Okay. Ashram is for sure going to be in Mortal Kombat 11. Okay. MK versus Street Fighter. Yeah, right. Like, that'll ever happen. Do you want Tanya to return? Uh... To be honest with you, I don't really care if Tanya returns. I don't really care. Although she might return because she is the one that released Melina from her prison. And I don't think Melina's dead. When did you talk about the tweet so I can rewind and watch what you said? Three minutes further. Oh, Kyle, I'll just tell you really quickly. Um, Kyle, all it was is that Ed Boon has, a, has posted, he has a, a pinned tweet on his account right now. And, uh, and, and it has a reference to Mortal Kombat 11 and Jade in it. So if you go to Ed Boon's Twitter account, you can actually see the, the pinned tweet. And it's a, it's, a, it's a cartoon strip, but there is, it, the cartoon strip makes, makes a reference to Mortal Kombat 11 and Jade being in Mortal Kombat 11. So how are we? How are we all? What's up, Mike? So, Justin, Freddy Krueger, come back. That would be cool. Astro, are you hearing us now? Name your. Let's see. Name your top ten characters you want in MK11. Mark. Let's see. Uh, ten. Why did that be ten? Um, Melina, Cyber Sub Zero, Fujin, um, Noob Cybot. Uh, let's see. Um, Jade. Um, uh, let's see, Scarlet, um, Reptile, Kung Lao, uh, Takeda, um, and, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, gosh. The Western dude? I can't, uh, what was the name of the Western guy with the guns? I forgot. I'm blanking out on his name. The one that the one, Aaron Black. Thank you, thank you, guys. Whoo, yeah, Aaron Black. So those would be my top. Oh, 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 and the cyborgs, the robots. I love the robots. Cyber, I mean, uh, uh, um, Sector and and uh, and Cyrex. Definitely got to have the robots in there. Actually, I think it's about time for a new robot. Honestly. You know, I mean, I'm kind of tired of seeing the same robots over and over again. It's like, they need to do a new robot. There needs to be a, a new robot. There needs to be like a female robot, something like that. My Hero Academia. Guys, if I'm not getting to your messages, I'm so sorry. We're up to like 44 visitors, and it's like... 
like racing across the stream. Cyber Frost would be really interesting. We had Cyber Sub Zero. Yeah, we had Cyber Sub Zero. But they haven't added a new cyber character in a while. White Robot or Cyber Baraka? Nah. I don't Cyber Chameleon. Oh, interesting. Ferritor was trash. Yeah, I agree. Could have been really good. Yeah, I agree, Justin. I, I thought that was such a waste of creativity. When do you think they will... Uh, okay, right again. Do you like how Tribor... Uh, all the cyborgs... One, or do you want it to be... The dude, I... The dude, I prefer for all the characters to be separate. I didn't... I prefer to play them all separately because if you notice with Triborg and Mortal Kombat X, you couldn't... They didn't have any variation because... They were, like, they didn't have any variations. You couldn't play Cy uh, Cyrex or Sector with any different variations because they were all in one being. So I would like to play the characters as different, separate characters. Can you imagine Cyrex with three? I know, I know. The coolest characters that could have had... How about old stages in Mortal Kombat 11? I'll get to that in a second. Um, the coolest characters who could have had the coolest the coolest variations and they leave it for triborg i mean cyber i mean cyrex and sector could have had the coolest variations being robots but we didn't get us we didn't get a chance to see any variations with the robots mk battle royale lost potential for sure i agree i really want to know about this article oh alex oh i'm sorry you must have come in a little late Alex, I've already read the article, but the article was with eventhubs.com. If you want to uh, uh, Google Mortal Kombat 11, it's the first article that comes up. And it basically said that our last hope of seeing a trailer for Mortal Kombat 11 would have been at the Sony press conference. But the Sony press conference happened today, and they did not reveal the Mortal Kombat trailer. So, yeah. Is E3 over? No. E3 over. E E3 actually officially starts tomorrow and goes until the 14th, okay? I want the Living Forest to return to Mortal Kombat 11. Hey, Astro, Cyber sub -Z. Cyber Shao Kahn. That's really interesting, but I, I don't think that, that'll happen because he's been, he got taken by the Elder Gods, so I, we don't know where he is. What are you laughing at, Justin? Um, but yes, we do need some new robots. I want some new robots to play with. I want new toys. I want new toys, people. Just be patient. Antoine, I don't, I'm not listening to you. I'm, I've had it. You and the letter of the day. Imposter Shao Kahn. That's interesting. I want new toys. I want new robots, new toys. Cyber, Cyber Scorpion. <laughs> Antoine, not, not cool. That one guy, the MK. On a scale from 1 to 10, how much faith do you have left? Uh, two. Toys. That's right. That's right, Chocolate. I want new toys, new robots. Justin, pass the drugs you're using. <laughs> JC, Cyber Blanche, Cyber Big Bird team up to rule the nether realm. <laughs> Boot hinted that we should follow their patterns of announcements, releases for the game. So where is the trailer? I know, Alex. We don't know. Alex 300. Shout out to Alex 300, guys. Alex 300 is in the room, and we appreciate his support for the stream. Degas, LOL. Cyber Jade or Melina. Oh, no, no, no. No, Melina can't go cyber. No, 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 no. Mini stages, MK9. Door for Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Guys, there's a window behind me. Do you see the window? Cyborg Devora. Eh. How about dead Devora? I like the idea of Devora. C, C, C. Centipede, you're speaking in Spanish. Cyber Molina, I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that at all. She doesn't need... Is it possible? It's possible with Blue's Clues. <laughs> Frumble, you always say the coolest stuff. Frumble, you are you rock. Frumble, it's possible with Blue's Clues. <laughs> Hold on. You skipped my question, Astro. How could you? Azen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's so many people in the stream. Azen, what was your question? What was your question, Azen? Dora, where is Scorpion? Azen, type your question again so I can see it. I'm sorry. Thick Devora. Arian, she's not thick. Psych. 
Oh, what's up, Psych? Welcome to the stream. That boy here. What if Shang Tsung comes back and takes Ermac's body since he was basically evaporated? <laughs> Pregnant Jackie. That's possible. Uh, Devorah is so thick. What in the world? Nightwolf. Mmm, Devorah. Okay, Alex, is it possible for Ermac to still be revealed? Yeah, it is. People keep talking about um, there being like a secret panel. Like WB Games has a secret panel. Uh, Devorah is crusty. Exactly, psych. Thank you. My thoughts exactly. Thick Devorah. Y'all are just tarted. Uh, all in. Do you think it's possible for Kratos to return to? I don't think so. I don't think they reuse any um, guest characters. That's why they're called guest characters. Where's the Sub Zero? Yes, there's Dora. Devora twerking. Oh, never. All hope is not lost. <laughs> Cabal. Devora centipede brother. Say. Who would let Devora lay? Oh, uh, I know, right? That one guy. Why people like the weird, ugly characters? Why no? No, why no? Rocco's thick cousin, Devorah's thick. No, Baraicho is thick, okay? If y'all are if y'all are trying to figure out who's thick, Baraicho is thick, okay? If y'all like thickness, if y'all like a whole lot of booty, you need to hook it up with Bo Raicho. Bo Raicho. Astro is having two x-rays for each character. Yes, it is, Azen. It's it, it is. I mean, an x-ray, one x-ray is already like a fatality. If you have two x-rays, how in the world are... are the... That'll be overkill. I hope Boone doesn't wait till PS5 to come out. We'll see, we'll just have to see Centipede. I'd hate Blanche before Devorah. Cabal not to be built for a boss role. Jade is thick. Oh, actually, yeah, uh, Jade, you know, she's thicker than Devorah. Oh, Naga is thicker. Rain, finally boss. John Cena for Mortal Kombat 11. Ricardo, that would be cool, Jade. Jade for real thick. <laughs> there was a time when Molina nasty but was everyone's favorite. His how Su how is thick. MK11. Casey Edwards. What's up, Casey? Welcome to the stream. True. Alright, guys. So if y'all need some thickness in your life, go hook it up with Bright Show. Not and not only, I mean, and you'll have a good time with Bright Show, because not only will he fart, but he will sit on your face and fart. Um, Melina Tongue is the final boss. Striker with Komidagu. Donald Duck, MK11. No, I, I'm still voting for, uh, I'm still voting for Dora the Explorer to be the, uh, pre-order bonus character. Yes, yeah, she was thick, that's true. Hope the x-rays are, like, cinematic. Yeah, I, that's what I said the, the other night. Azen, did you, did you catch my, what I was talking about in the live stream? Yeah, they, they need to make more cinematic x-rays, or at least have more cinematic something. Uh, did you know Lee May? Wait... Let's see, did you know, was in Emma? Okay. Yes, Centipede. She was a non-playable character. Or, Sponge, or SpongeBob for MK11. <laughs> Cena. Alright, guys. I've been going door no, because Ed Boon will do it. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> now, can, you can't what? Now, what What can you not do? Bo Raicho could explode. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. I, I hope Bo Raicho explodes and no one is able to put him back together. Bo Raicho's name should really be Humpty Dumpty. And somebody needs to push his beep off the beep wall. Do you like the new Scorpion, M dude? Arian, why do people keep typing the letter O? Blood Rain and MK11. Possibly. Uganda Knuckles for Mortal Kombat 11. Bo Raicho eats Devorah and explodes. Sounds good. Sounds good. Why talk about Bo Raicho? Because everyone keeps saying that, that Devorah is thick. And she is not thick. Bo Raicho is thick. Julian, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Reboot with all the... No, no, no. I don't want Armageddon. I don't want it again. No, 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 no. Bo Raicho throws up for Mortal Kombat 11. Jay. Okay. Okay, I can deal with Jay. Jay can be the other day. I like Jay better than O. No. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Thank you so much for your support. I think this is like the most people that I've had in the stream. And I am so thankful, guys. Uh, fast astro name a quote from MKX. Um, um, actually, I'll do better than that. I'll do an entire um, uh, oh, I'll, I'll do a few lines from an intro with uh, Johnny Cage and Melina. Uh, Melina says something you repulsive Earth Realmer, and then Johnny Cage says sleeping with Baraka is repulsive, and then Melina says. Who told you that? <laughs> Sorry. 
So all kinds of things have been going on. Melina and Baraka. Wow, wow, wow. Anyways, uh, give an update if you hear anything regarding K11. Guys, you know I will. Oh, but my favorite, my favorite line, my favorite intro in Mortal Kombat 11 is Katie Holmes. My favorite intro in Mortal Kombat 11 is Katana versus Raiden. Thunder God. I've grown tired of your insolence. Maybe you should lie down. <laughs> Katana. Katana told Raiden to lie down. Someone just told me I look like Bo Raicho. I don't appreciate that. Bye. The dude, do you feel better? Do you feel better? I tried to catch as many of your responses as I could tonight. And I and and hopefully that makes up for last night. So the dude, do you feel better? Naruto, Black Bane. Oh, Black Bane. Um, yes, Black Bane, I still want to see. I still want to see Shay Khan. We gotta get Shay Khan for the pre-order bonus character, guys. So don't everybody don't forget Shay Khan. We gotta get Shay Khan. Shay Khan for the pre-order bonus, and we gotta get Revenant Blanche for the final character, for the final villain in Mortal Kombat 11, okay? The dude. Shay Khan mixtape. <laughs> Shay Khan. <laughs> Three characters that must have for you. Frumblefoot, uh, Melina, Cyber Sub Zero, and Jade. Oh, or no, Reiko. All right, guys. Okay, I'm going to go, before somebody says something, I'm going to start laughing again. Probably something about Blanche. Yes, Frumble. Okay, Frumble, come back. You always say cool stuff, Frumble. Come back to the streams. Alex, do you think WB has a panel? Yeah, they do. I know that for sure. Zombie Katana. She's already a zombie. Hunter. See you later, man. Freddy Krueger face as. Uh, Frumble put later, guys. Okay. Oh, and Frumble, don't forget about Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues for the first downloadable character in, in Fighter Pack 1. Blue's Clues. Blanche Boobs from DLC. <laughs> Shake, hon. All right, guys. Y'all have a good night. Bye.